What's up guys, Ross with Hikeway Paddle. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at the Native Ultimate FX12. Uh, this is the 12 foot, two inch hybrid sit on top, sit inside kayak that Native offers. And I picked it up this past weekend and got seven hours on the water with it Saturday at a bowfin tournament really enjoyed the boat we'll take a little bit closer look at it today hope you enjoy all right y'all so as we can see looking over top of the kayak here you got a lot of internal space the uh you can really carry a lot of gear a lot of small gear mind you in this kayak and that's something that i really like about it and that's something that really appealed to me I've, uh, I've looked for this boat used for years and just haven't been able to find one. And luckily for me, a buddy of mine that works down at Naturally Outdoors in Florence, South Carolina, about a week ago or so posted that he had four of these boats for sale. And I shot him a message. He still had one left and I jumped on it. Now, these boats generally come with more tracking and more padding than they have on them at the moment. Uh, supply chain issues are to thank for that. One thing that I do love about it is that very nice anchor trolley that comes pre-installed. If, uh, if you followed my channel for a while, you'll know that I've talked about it a few times. That is the first thing I do with generally any kayak I buy is add an anchor trolley. I use them so often. Uh, there's so many different ways to anchor from them. I've uh, got a video that shows a few of those. I'll, I'll drop a, a, uh, a button to that here on the end screen of this video. But, uh, but yeah, a spacious rear tank well, although I will say the bigger uh, kayak crates on the market don't fit in it. I've got the Yak Gadget Low Pro XD with uh, six rod holders on it. And if I have those two outside rod holders on it, it unfortunately won't fit. And so I found myself Saturday at a tournament without a long screwdriver. So I couldn't even take those those uh, outside rod holders off and fit it back there. That's no fault of the kayaks. That's poor planning on my part. Um, a nice little storage area up front here. Truthfully, I don't know that I see myself using that much. I did drop a cooler up here Saturday, but that's probably the extent of what it'll be used for. Native puts really, really nice carrying handles on their boats. I love, love, love that about their boats. Um, everything about their boats just speaks quality. Another great sturdy carrying handle back here. The seat is fantastic. Native always has had some of the better seats on the market. Very comfortable. Uh, great back support Sits high you can also drop it down kind of hard to do one-handed, but you'll see the little Channels here in the seat base Let's see if I can kind of finagle this one-handed Drop it down into the low position if that suits your comfort uh be better on windy days me personally though I'm a pretty tall guy so I'm gonna generally have that seat up in the high position all right now that I'm done fighting with that seat it's not a one-handed job for sure uh, foot pegs in the cockpit here offer you very comfortable paddling 
Now I did find that they kind of want to, they're not doing it right now, but as I put pressure on them this past Saturday, they did want to kind of ease forward after I had them set. But I may have been doing something wrong because now they are very solid, but uh, very comfortable foot pegs, I might add. You do have the one little rear, or rear, one little piece of track up here in the front, as well as a good spot to add uh, good base mounts for either Scotty rod holders or anything else of your liking. Um, I believe the boats that aren't affected by the supply chain have padding here, as well as some padding here in the cockpit here on the gunnels um i don't know if i'll add that or not that's that's to be determined kind of got this as a lightweight throw and go uh because i'm a kayak addict you can never have enough of them no matter what your wife says you always need one more but uh yeah that's the top view of the kayak the only thing I have added so far, and I didn't do a great job of it, is this paddle keeper here. Uh, these boats don't come with a paddle keeper. I probably should have just thrown a yak attack grip on some tracks on the sides here, but I got impatient and I had that paddle holder laying around the house. All right, let's flip this thing over and look at what really matters about it. All right, so as we flip it over and look at the hull here, you'll notice it doesn't have a very aggressive keel on it. I was uh, not necessarily disappointed, but a little surprised by it. Uh, the rear keel, same thing here. It's uh, not super, super aggressive. It's very streamlined, but I wanted a more pronounced keel on it for better tracking purposes. Uh, when I get this boat on the water and paddle it for you guys, you'll see a little more what I'm talking about. It maneuvers very, very well because of that lack of a huge keel. But, consequently, it doesn't track quite, quite as well as I wanted it to. Still a fun boat to paddle. Paddles well. Uh, it's going to be really good in the river. But on flat water, you, you may... You may want to find a either a 14 foot boat. They do sell this boat in a 15 foot version as well. Um, this is probably this is probably going to be a river boat. It's got the pontoon style hull that uh, offers some really good stability. It wasn't as stable as obviously my Hobie Pro Angler and my Jackson Bite but it's not really, I wouldn't say it's in the same league as those. There's a considerable price difference as well. So uh, it's all about finding the right tool for the right job. My wife, every time I bring home another kayak, asks me what's wrong with me. And as I like to tell her, you wouldn't play the masters with just a putter. You're gonna take a full set of clubs. So that kind of, is how I justify my uh, addiction to buying as many plastic boats as I do. I'm not sure it's working though. All right, y'all, so I'm out here on the river now. And uh, as you can, well, you probably can't see, but when I'm just steady paddling, the, uh, the boat really wants to stay straight. It uh, does that very, very well, but when I stop paddling, I'm spinning in a circle pretty fast. That's a little disappointing to me, but not the end of the world by any means. It's not anything that makes me say, oh, well, this boat's no good at all. It's just, 
it's a quirk of the boat that I wish wasn't the case, but but it's not the end of the world. As you can see, I stopped again and here I am going the other way. But uh, I'm gonna make a few casts. I'm gonna paddle a little bit. I, uh, I hope this on the water uh, demo at least gives a little bit of an inclination of how the boat paddles. Um, right now, I'm paddling at a pretty good clip. I don't have a GPS on me, but if I had to guess, I'm doing three and a half, four miles an hour maybe. If I really wanted to do more, I'm sure I could. So, as far as paddling goes, that was very, very well. I said the tracking, a little bit to be desired, but a, uh, an effective paddler nonetheless. We'll see if we can, we can show a little bit of the stability of this boat. I'm not gonna get too, too testy with me here in the river, but uh, let's give it a shot. I, uh, able to go to standing pretty effortlessly. Now, as you put a little bit of weight on one leg or the other, it feels much, much more tippy to me than any of the other kayaks that I stand and fish from. But there is a good secondary stability. Um, would I stand and fish from this boat? I'm sure I will at some point, but I'm uh, I'm definitely not there yet. A little bit of a little bit tippy, but I can I can rock with it a little bit. I still think you would have to be uh, getting a little bit careless to flip this thing in most situations. Alright, so some specs on this boat. Like I said, it's 12 foot 2. Uh, I very, very seldom buy a kayak shorter than 12 foot. I did review the uh, little Lifetime Teton 100 uh, a couple videos ago, and I really, really like that boat. Like I said, uh, that's kind of your bare budget kayak like I said that boat is $400 you can find it for cheaper than that if you look hard enough and wait for a sale uh, the MSRP on this boat is $1,100 and I'm not gonna say that's overpriced but I paid $800 for it uh, the shop I bought it from had them priced lower because of the features that it's lacking because of the supply chain issues. And I think that is a much more um, appropriate price point for it. I think it's a great, great boat for that price. It's uh, 30 and a half inches wide, so it's gonna be stable. Uh, good width with that pontoon style hull. It's gonna be a uh, very comfortable boat to paddle. And you're not gonna flip it easily. The fitted hull weight is 60 pounds. I like that a lot. My back likes that a lot. I can car top it. I can easily throw it in the bed of the truck. I can carry it if I have to either portage or if I have a good little hike to the launch site. Uh, the fully rigged weight with the seat is 65 pounds. Uh, the depth on it, 12 and a half inches, 
so it's got the good high sides on it um, I don't know if you can tell from the video but the water line on this boat is right in this area so it sits very very high I'm a hundred and sixty pounds soaking wet I generally carry 20 30 pounds of gear with me so I had 185, 190 pounds of gear in this boat with me, and it still sat very, very high above the water line. Um, so I really like that as well. And the capacity on it, 350 pounds. For a small kayak, that's a lot of gear. The little Teton that I reviewed a couple videos ago holds 275 pounds. That's nothing. Um, not a whole lot you can do with that. Great little boat for the price, but I hope this shows you, as I spoke about in that review, you spend a little bit more, you can get a lot more. So uh, anyway, I uh, really hope this gave you a good idea of what this boat has to offer. If maybe you're looking for your first kayak or if you're like me and it's your 15th kayak. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Like I said, great little boat for the price. It's a very capable kayak and could be what you're looking for. Hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching. Take care.